What's going on? Good morning. I am broadcasting live from my garage, and this is the first ever broadcast of tea time. Just like when you go and play golf and you set up a tea time, well, we're going to set up a time to go over the Bible with me, Travis T. So the first ever tea time, um, how do I look? How's my face? My hair look good? I'm sure it does. Um, I just want to get started saying, gosh, I, you know, I, I miss you guys. I, I honestly do. I, and I cannot wait until we're back in church together, <clears throat> excuse me, where I can uh, see you and uh, uh, talk with you and joke around with you and uh, just have a time of fellowship. So, um, but that'll be soon. And uh, uh, we'll, we'll get through uh, all this. Um, you know, this isn't the first time that uh, we might have having to stay at home. We might have had to stay at home before. Not the first time, first time in, in history. And I know it's just probably driving you crazy and you want to get out and you, I know you don't want to go to school, but maybe you do want to go to school because you, you want to see your friends. You might not want to do all, all the work and everything else uh, related to school, but I'm sure you're still having to do school work just uh, uh, from your house, but, but that's okay. We'll get through all that. You, some, some adjustments, and we're making our own, own adjustments here in our family. Um, but that's okay. God God gives us the strength and, and the grace to do that. And um, so um, work hard at all that. Listen to your parents and uh, help them because it's an adjustment for them too. Um, I mentioned before this isn't the first time. You know, in the Bible there were places where Things were maybe a little different. Things were different than the normal. Think about that. Think about the Israelites when, when they were captive in Egypt. That was a lot different from them, from what maybe they were used to uh, previously. How about uh, when they were captured by the Assyrians? How about when the Israelites were captured by the Babylonians? Lots, lots of different things for them. Lots of different times for them. Um, they're actually taken from their homes. Not, and that's not going to happen here. But just, just know that God took care of them then, and he's going to take care of us now. <clears throat> so, I want to read to you, and I want you to read every day this psalm. And I'm only going to read the first three verses, okay? Um, you can probably hear my dog in the background, but that's okay. Um... I want you to read this psalm every day. And then I'm going to give you my email address and my phone number. I want you to send me a video back. Maybe of you reading, reading the verses. Or maybe you um, telling me more about the verses. Or something that you're studying. Or something that you, you just want to tell me about, okay? So send it to me. I, I look forward to it. Um, but I want to read you this uh, first three verses first, and um, I, I, I think it's appropriate, okay? And this is Psalm 91, verses 1 through 3, and it says, Those who go to God most high for safety will be protected by God all-powerful. I will say to the Lord, You are my place of safety and protection. You are my God, and I trust you. God will save you from hidden traps and deadly disease. Wow. I want you to read that this week. I want you to read it every day because that's powerful. It's saying if you're trusting in God, if you can honestly say, guys, that God, you're in control and you knew all this stuff was going to happen when you formed the earth. We didn't, but we, we trust in you. We know that you love us and you're going to watch over us and you're going to keep us safe. And it's all part of your plan. And sometimes that's hard to say. Um, but you got to live it out. you got to keep in the, in the front of your mind that God is in control and that he loves us. And he's not going to do anything to harm us. He, he isn't because we're, we're his children. If you've, if you've got God in here like we've talked about before, 
he's going to take care of you. It might not be the way you think uh, you want to be taken care of. I'm sure the Israelites um, wanted to be protected from the Assyrians and the Babylonians and the Egyptians a little different than how God pr protected them. Or how about this? Um, Jonah. He wasn't stuck in home. He was stuck in the belly of a fish. God protected him there. He was away from his home. He was stuck in a fish's belly the whole time. But didn't God offer protection for him? Didn't he keep him safe even when he was in that belly? Yeah, he did. He kept them all safe. So all this is part of God's plan. And um, again, remember, Psalm 91, verses Read the whole thing, but especially I want you to at least read verses 1 through 3. I'm going to read it for you again. I'm going to give you my email address. I'm going to give you um, my phone number. And um, send me some stuff this week. I look forward to hearing from you. So let me read it one more time. Um, Psalm 91, verses 1 through 3. Those who go to God most high for safety will be protected by God all-powerful. I will say to the Lord, you are my place of safety and protection. You are my God and I trust you. God will save you from hidden traps and deadly diseases. It's in the Bible, guys. God knew it before we knew it. And that's cool. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but I'm gonna read it to you. My email address, let me get it up here, is the letter T and then Spain and the numbers 81 at gmail.com tspain81 at gmail.com my phone number you can send me text videos cool stuff is 303-0726 303-0726 thank you for the first ever tea time and uh, uh, we'll continue these next week once a week um, I hope you're doing well we're doing great. Um, uh, we're, we're going on as, as normal, and we're making the most of it. So, as I end my classes, as I always do at church, I'm going to end tea time like this. Get out of my room!